Uh, just wanted to show you something quickly. I've got the turbine connected directly from the rectifier to these jump cables to the dump load element. And obviously this meter won't come on unless there's seven volts. Uh, so there's not quite enough wind. There's not quite enough wind at the second, but we're just gonna wait and see if it picks up a bit. And then this will come on and then everything will go straight to this. We'll just wait till the wind comes back. There you go. And of course there's no brake or anything. I feel like getting a tiny bit warm already. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave that on like that. And the idea I was saying about this thing with a bucket is to have a metal bucket full of sand with this in. And then just to let it run like that. Obviously it does need a fair bit of wind. As you can see as the wind drops off, that'll just switch off. But that this is like working as a constant load. But yeah, it's constantly having to work against that load. So I'll just disconnect it just to show you. So yeah, I thought if that, if this dump load element is in a metal bucket with sand in it, that could be quite interesting. It's definitely starting to get warm. But anyway, I'll leave you on that and uh, I'll let you know if we have any development on the sand battery heat bucket idea. Cheers. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool, running straight straight to that. If you tried it with most wind turbines, it would just stop dead. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll see you soon. Cheers.